Hi, and welcome to Entertainment Engineering Television. I'm your host, TJ Persson. For this episode of EETV, we travel to Las Vegas, Nevada to catch up with some of the engineers who work behind the scenes at the Cirque du Soleil show known as CA. Cirque du Soleil founder and CEO Guy La Liberté describes CA as the most theatrical show that Cirque has ever put together. It required more technology and advanced visual effects than his company has ever attempted before. The main stage consists of seven individual stages, similar to the one shown here, some of which are enabled by hydraulics, including the main stage, which is a 25 by 50 foot sand cliff deck. The deck weighs over 150 tons, which is nearly as heavy as a fully loaded 747 airliner. The deck reaches a final height of 70 feet from the basement below, as seen in this image. So how do the Ka engineers safely and consistently control the motion of the sand cliff deck? Well, they use a freestanding 300,000 pound hydraulic gantry crane with hydraulic cylinders, accumulators, and high output electrohydraulic valves and other motion control products from Parker Hannifin. The crane's custom made hydraulic cylinders are mounted on both sides of the stage in pairs and can be seen here with a bellows around them. Hydraulic pressure then lifts the stage. But instead of using hydraulic fluid, the engineers have chosen to use vegetable oil because it's environmentally friendly. The hydraulic lifting system's power unit consists of five 250 horsepower motors and Parker Hannifin PE145 and 105 series tandem axle piston pumps. The pumps, as shown here, provide a total flow output of over 650 gallons per minute. The piston pumps were originally intended for industrial applications but because of their compact design, CA engineers considered them optimal for the theater environment. The piston pump's low noise level was also desirable to the engineers because it was very quiet during stage performances. Once lifted, the sand cliff deck is then tilted at a 100 degree angle. It is also rotated 360 degrees during performances. The main stage tilts at a rate of 2.5 degrees per second until it reaches 100 degrees. Parker Hannifin D3 FH valves are used for positioning of the stage. These proportional servo valves have onboard drive amplifiers. They incorporate the use of advanced drive electronics for continuous monitoring of the valve spool locations so that CA engineers can achieve the repeatability that is necessary for safe and consistent operation. Using a precision lapped spool and sleeve with four configured control positions, the valve can shift from center to either side. If the drive amplifier loses power for whatever reason, the valve then shifts into a fourth position within 10 milliseconds. The fourth position blocks all four ports and all crew members and CA performers are safe until normal operating procedures can resume. Parker D81 FH valve is used to control the 100 degree slant of the sand cliff deck. These are two-phased pilot-operated solenoid valves with electronic spool feedback and integrated electronic control. Both the D3FH and the D81FH are characterized by repeatability and high dynamic performance. And there you have it, taken straight from the pages of Entertainment Engineering Magazine. Be sure to check back for the next episode.